the Quran on Embryology Dr. E. Marshall Johnson Dr. E. Marshall Johnson is Professor Emeritus of Anatomy and Developmental Biology at Thomas Jefferson University, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. There, for 20 years, he was Professor of Anatomy, the Chairman of the Department of Anatomy, and the Director of the Daniel Bow Institute. He was also the President of the Teratology Society. He has authored more than 200 publications. As you follow Dr. Marshall on this incredibly detailed journey, he leaves you in no doubt as to the only possible conclusion that can be made. The two statements uh, that I have are that, number one, Allah knows what every female womb bears and what is penetrating into the womb or decreasing and what is increasing. The second, is none knows the future of what is decreasing or penetrating into the wombs except Allah. The two statements taken together can be considered the period of early embryogenesis from insemination to early implantation of the fertilized ovum. The key word in both is al guid which could mean passing through or penetration of fluid into depth, like water going into the depth of the earth. And two, decrease in amount. The two statements refer to something which is passing through the female reproductive tract, which is decreasing and or increasing in size, and it is something whose future at this stage is known to no one except Allah. This something, evidently, is a reference to the male and female generative materials and later to the zygote. When different meanings of the key word al-gaid are applied to the ayah and the hadith, these evidently point to the developmental processes taking place up to the stage of early implantation. It is science, could I have the next slide please? It is scientifically established or proven that of the several millions of spermatozoa in the seminal fluid, a great many of them as illustrated here, will not pass through the cervical canal, and half of those which do pass through the cervical canal will go up into a fallopian tube or an oviduct where there is no ova. However, some of those which do pass through the cervical canal will pass into the correct oviduct and into the presence of a, an ovum if one is there. The next slide is that of those spermatozoa which actually do get into the vicinity of the ovum, only one of them fuse with the surface membrane of the ovum. This we call the uniting of the uh, sperm and the ovum. Actually, it's a fusion of the cell membranes so that the genetic material then passes inside of the uh, ovum. At this particular time, genetic program, the genetic destiny of this individual is established. We don't know what it is at this time, but we do know, of course, that as the chromosomes of the two come together, the genetic program uh, is established at this time. Another uh, biologic phenomenon which is consistent with the word al-gaid, and that is that as the individual, the female child is born, she is born with all of the ova which she potentially will shed. So she will have several hundred thousand ova. During her reproductive lifespan, of course, relatively few of these will be actually ovulated. So from amongst the many ova available, relatively few are then chosen to be ovulated. And if a spermatozoa is there, 
then at that particular time uh, it could be uh, fertilized. So therefore, when al guide is taken to mean a passing through, it will cover the period of the journey of the ovum as it takes from the oviduct and eventually through the uterus to the time of implantation. When it reaches implantation, it will pass into a, another stage of development uh, that is to the uh, alaka stage. Thank you.